Hey, Fixie back at you here. Part two. If you haven't seen uh, part one yet, go check out it in the description. Part one, I'm putting a quarter pound on a 74 Nova. Um, this one here, we're going to finish it up, weld the quarter pound on, and dress it all up. And make it look brand new. Stick around. So, where we left off last time, I got it all painted. If you want to check out how I done all this, check out the video before this one. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, we did, we replaced the bottom of the inner quarters, the bottom of the wheel houses. We replaced a section of the wheelhouse here, and we done a uh, lower section of the quarter here. And we got the quarter all cut up and ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit the quarter on the car. And scrub on and get started on it. And let's get this thing welded in. Right here we got the roll on the wheel well and the, you see the mark is up here up high on the quarter pound so I know I got a bit of room there to come down so I'm going to cut off probably a half an inch all the way around and get myself into the roll of the wheel well. So it, uh, it'll help hide the welding and when it comes to doing body work it's really easy to do the work in there. Right? So we're going to cut off the panel over there and I'm going to drill out some spot welds and get a prep to go on it. Now you can see the roll on the panel here, it'll come down about a half an inch from here, all the way around, and cut it off the wheel well. Just take my finger and don't chop it off, Tony, for God's sakes. I, should not, I forgot to clean up the edge of the metal. Take your time. No, that's not like the first time I ever fucked a finger out myself. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is fine. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut, all, cut that off right along through there and then start drilling out spot wells. And on the bottom side here, we got it marked to put spot wells in there and up along here. Got all the holes drilled, and I got the panel cut off, and I got to fit down for one last time. I'm going to take it off again, I'll show you why. Uh, first thing I got to do now, because where I cut it down, I want to mark it. Just give myself a point to mark it. There's a couple of things we need to address. As you can 
see this panel back here is pretty flimsy. <clears throat> so we'll have to work on that. Okay, so now I got all marked. I'm going to remove the panel again. And I'll show you all that. Now, we cuts the off this. Well, you're running up, you notice this is an arch panel. So when you cut it, you're going to be left with a piece in there that's going to be around the whole thing. You're going to have a hard time getting that piece out or out this way. I can get access in here so much, and I can get access in behind here. But the key here is I can cut here right in the middle so I can take this piece out the back and take this piece out this side. Also down here, I'm going to have to cut the buff on the lower side down here so uh, it won't be in the way because I'm not going to be able to pull this piece out uh, from the inside with that like that. So I'm going to have to cut that off there so that it fits there nice. I took this piece out of it. Uh, the reason for that is, is because when you butt welds this here, and this is wrapped around this corner, there's no way you're going to be able to pull this piece out because of this. So you remove the end pieces out of the way in order to do it. And up here, I got her cut down through here. So then I, when I split this, I can take this piece in here and this piece out here. Okay, so I got the quarter fitting from here on, and this is fitting nice against me. Um, I can't go pulling on this in here yet, all this here, because it brings this out. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tack weld this on the here, and then I'm going to let these voice groups go so that can hang freely, and I'm going to work on that from there. So many people ask me about my welding. I don't weld with a helmet. Um, I should be welding with it. You should be welding with a helmet. I'm an old guy. i got a bad habit. All I'm doing is I never ever see the arc. Okay? I'm looking, I'm behind the gun. So when I'm looking at that, the arc is in behind the trigger. So I don't see it. It's not a good way to do it. I've been just doing it a very long time. I don't have no issues with it.
next section of the core handle. Underline down to the rest of it and get her all fitting in there. I got it on there and uh, I got the pieces out from this side, the two sections of it. This was trouble. I ended up having to recut all my welds along here to break this off. This here, every now and again you'll come across a spot where you'll actually weld really good to this. And as you can see here and here, she welded solid to this piece and it wouldn't let go. I ended up having to cut it here, but it was no worries. Most of the quarter panel was in place anyway. And then I just re-welded it after I got it out, but I had to get it out. Uh, then I went back over it uh, and just checked it, make sure it all felt good. And a couple of spots that uh, was still a bit high, and so all I did is I just cut the weld and worked the area and welded it up again. I made up this little thing here, it's just a piece of steel, just to stick in there, bend it over, pull it out if the top was in too far or whatnot. Now that I got it all welded up, it's still all that go, I'm going to run with that. I'm going to come up here now and weld every inch and then go back and start welding and cooling as I'm going. As you can see, all I'm doing is spot welding next to the one before it. Just all those spot welds. If you run a pass up in this area here, you're guaranteed you're going to get warpage in that panel. Uh, it takes a long time to do, but I can tell you from experiences, because I have to fill these cars too, uh, the time that I take here makes all the world of difference when it comes to body work. Right now, I got nothing going on here. I'm just taking my time going across here. Make sure it's nice and cool. All right, I got it all welded up. I'm very pleased with it. Very little, if none, warpage in it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna weld none of this in here yet. I'm gonna finish off all this section here. Uh, one of the advantages of not welding nothing on the bottom side is if you run into any issues here, and you got to cut the quarter panel off the car again. Well, now you haven't got to worry about this here being welded up. So I'm going to dress all this up so I'm happy with it. And down here before I go and finish all the wheel welds in the bottom section of it. So I'm going to start on the grinding now. Well, I got it, the first grinding done. I got it smoothed up. I got a couple of spots now. I want to reweld up on it. And then go back and hit it again. All down here, a few spots along here. I'm very pleased with how it came out. Okay. Nice and smooth. Wouldn't take much now to straighten that up. Very little more feature now at all. All right, I'm going to weld them up and grind them down. There you have it, all lined up.
finished up here. All welded down underneath. I got in here and I trimmed up the wheel well. I narrowed up the top. Customers were running big tires, so I narrowed up the wheel well and dressed it all up. But there you have it. The installation of a quarter panel. Hope the tips were good and you enjoyed it. And until next time.